Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Blood Doctor. In this video, you'll meet my patient who wants to have a Hamilton surgery to wear his cowboy boots. However, he's on blood thinner and aspen for his heart condition. Let's see if he can have surgery. We have Bobby here. Hey Bobby, how are you doing? Give me a thumbs up. That's great. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Bobby came here because you were asking about the surgery on this toe, right? This toe? You want to have this toe fixed? Uh, maybe, maybe not? I don't know. Oh, I, you don't... I remember a couple of days after uh, somebody stepped over my foot. Oh, somebody did? Okay. And uh, That was hurting a lot? And I went to to see a doctor mm -hmm. and, I, and I, I said, well, I thought all you would have to do is just take that toe off. Take the and toe he, off? <laughs> and he said, we don't, we don't do that for healthy toes. Oh, uh, okay. And so and that was uh, about 50 years ago. Oh, 50 years ago. Wow. <laughs> it seems like it. Could that, that toe was like that 50 years ago? It was the right one that I had to Oh, I see. This idiot stepped on my toe at a yeah. fight at a, because I was walking through a bar. Oh, really? You wanted to be taken out? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these are called hammer toes. I was, and I was a lot braver then. Oh, back then, huh? You mean you're less brave now? Oh, you wouldn't believe. Really? <laughs> you watch TV lately? Uh, not lately. You, I don't watch TV that much. I tell you what, it's scary right now. It is. Like those people that said, uh, uh, and uh, uh, who was that? Uh, Texas, Russia. Uh, uh, oh. oh, sorry. Right? Oh. <laughs> you okay? Sorry. Okay, so you came in to ask me about this surgery here. We could do that, and then you were telling me about your blood thinner, right? You're taking blood thinner, correct? <laughs> yes. Yes? Uh, right, Bobby? Say yes, because you told me already. <laughs> you, yeah, you're taking the blood thinner, right? And then you you yeah. have a stent yeah. in your heart. That's why you're taking the blood thinner, right? So that is a problem if we have to do surgery. We want to make sure that your doctor is okaying that. And then you have to stop the blood thinner uh, before, um, be before we do the surgery, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we have to check your circulation too. Make sure you have good enough circulation to heal this thing. You know mm -hmm. what was the worst part of that? Which one? I couldn't wear boots anymore. You mean this toe? On this toe. Yeah, that one there. You mean the tip of the toe? It's really yeah. thick this year. We'll, we'll get that one out. Because uh, you, you couldn't wear, what kind of boot do you, you want to wear? Was that like a dancing boot? Uh, yeah, cowboy boot. Oh, cowboy boot. Oh, yeah. You Well, after I take this callus out, are you going to be able to wear the cowboy boots? Yeah, I still have some someplace. Yeah, well, you better you better wear it because I'm I'm working hard to get get rid of this thing. Look how thick this callus is. So you have to bring your cowboy boots next time and then wear it with it. Okay, wear it with you. So I can see how, how good looking you are with it. Okay? Uh-huh. Don't just say uh huh, I better see it next time. So how long have you been taking the blood thinner? Uh I think it's a week. No. Three years. Oh three years? Yeah. Since your heart attack. Oh since you the heart attack, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to be really careful about getting you off the blood thinner and then be able to do the surgery if you want. Mm -hmm. 
So I need I need to have your doctor approve the surgery first. Even though the surgery is pretty minor, okay? We can do that pretty quickly and it's not gonna take a lot of effort, but uh, medically speaking, you have to be able to be off your blood thinner usually about at least five days prior to the surgery, but depends on your your heart. You got a stent in your heart too, you're telling me. Mm -hmm. So we have oh, to make sure. You don't know if I cry or not. You, I'm sorry? You want to know if I cry or not? You cry? Oh, you, you may cry. It could be a little tender after the surgery. But the problem, the bigger problem is, is your heart able to handle it? Because we have to give you some anesthesia, you see? Mm. So we want to make sure, we don't have to go under general anesthesia, but you're going to be under like a partial anesthesia. So we have to make sure your doctor approves of that, okay? And then oh, we, oh, do some, we do some circulation tests, you know? Mm -hmm. To make sure you're going to be able to heal it. And then, and then it, so it requires some homework before we can fix that toe, even though it's a simple surgery, we want to make sure you're able to handle it, okay? Is, is, is that understandable? Bobby, you there? Uh-huh. And then you're also taking Lipitor, right? Your cholesterol is really high? Yes. Yes, how high? Over 200? Yeah. Okay. So you're trying to keep to a minimum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Does he take any blood pressure pills or anything? No, his blood pressure is pretty good. Really? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you take an aspirin? Okay. For the, for the heart? Yeah. Mm -hmm. aspirin. Okay. For men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he takes um, folate. Folate? Mm -hmm. That's vitamin B, huh? Yeah. Okay. Any reason for taking folate? Or um, not he was, to my knowledge. He was he, told to take it? Yeah. Okay. He's not pregnant or anything, right? No. I think it's you don't look pregnant there. Uh, <laughs> Usually the pregnant women they have to take Flomax. folate, yeah. Flomax. Flomax. Oh Flomax. Uh-huh. Sorry, Flomax. Uh -huh. Flomax is for the for the prostate. prostate. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's Flomax. right done. Yeah. Okay. So not folate. No. Usually Flomax. pregnant woman takes folate, you know that, right? Yeah. Vitamin the B B B nine deficiency. Mm -hmm. B nine is a folate that causes they can cause birth defects, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what a lot of the so yeah, I, yeah. I didn't think you were pregnant there, Bobby. Yeah. You don't. Oh, you don't look pregnant to I me. Hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, you'll be famous. Uh, you'll be very famous. You'll be on the newspaper. Huh? Right? No? You don't want any more kids, right? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So we got most of this calcium. Wow. So. Look at there, Bobby. I'm gonna grind this down really nice. Make it really pretty. Okay. You'd be very impressed, Bobby. You're gonna you're gonna love your nails again. How often should you get a feet done? Every every couple months. Okay. Yeah. It's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word blood thinner in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Looks like we haven't done this in a while. Okay, here we go. We're gonna grind it down real good, okay? Make it look really pretty, okay? You feel okay? Do you feel anything? Yeah. Looks like uh, Bob, Bobby has a lot of jokes, right? He, he jokes a lot, doesn't he? A lot. Uh, yeah, I can tell. I haven't had any good jokes yet today. 
You you look you look like a jokester to me. Huh? Oh, All right. Okay. Well, I expect a real good, clean joke next time. Okay. Give me your best joke. Okay. okay. I can tell you, you joke around a lot. So, I expect a real good, clean one. Okay. They don't like a joke. Really? Why? Uh -huh. Oh, really? <laughs> out of space? Yeah, What about California? Yeah, they got they got problem with California errors. California what? They uh they show they can be uh the uh you know so bigger than in the world for the last thousand years. Underground underground. Oh history channel. Yeah, when you watch history channel it gets a little scary, huh? <laughs> I know they they give you a lot of information that uh, you you may not necessarily want to know. But too scary. So what's going on with the California? What did he say? He said, what did they say? What did the doctor say? What did they say about California, Bobby? Ah, uh, I'll tell you what. It's a. Uh... Not good. They they show places after after World War One. Oh, back then, huh? Yeah. And uh huh. They, uh, they had to go back to the from other world that were in the United States. Oh, really? Wow. You know, for years. You know what? Last year, no, it's been about two years. Mm -hmm. uh, I, did, I thought World War II was over. World War II? I thought it was over, too. Is it still going on? What is it? Yeah. Oh, it depends where it's at. And, uh, that's the, uh, is there a picture of that? I got a little, uh, uh, another picture. Is it his hunger is still here? Mm hmm. And this boy, uh, that, uh, Germany. Germany still has troops in this country from the very after the war. Oh, you mean and, uh, even now? Even now. What are they doing here? They, uh, what this country is, uh, looks like, like the little south of uh, Russia. Uh -huh. But they, uh, they have their troops are still there. Mm -hmm. And this country allows it. Really? They never left, you mean? No, I didn't know that. Where are they at? I don't see them. No, really? Wow. That's kind of crazy, huh? I thought everybody would do it. That the war was over, they didn't know. That's been a while. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Bobby, it's looking good now, huh? What do you? What, how do you like your new nails? Gee. It looks a lot better, Bobby. 
Looks a lot better. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't look much better now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you if you are interested in surgery, we need to request your doctor to clear for your heart stent and your um, blood thinner, okay? Mm -hmm. Before then. And then we can fix this, no problem, okay? Thank you for allowing us to film you today, okay, Bobby? Thank you for watching my video. As you can see on this video, regardless of your age, you can still have surgery as long as you have good circulation and manage medication before and after surgery. Obviously, you want to make sure that your primary doctor can approve the surgery and manage the medication for you. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.